What's up guys, Eric here and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of Vivid's Holographic Weave Chrome Vinyl. I'll give you an up close look at the vinyl to include the front side, which shows that it has the patterning, a plastic protective cap, as well as the high gloss finish. We'll also take a look at the back side to show you the clear adhesive and the air grass pattern to it. We'll take a look at some of its application properties, such as its position repositionability, how slidable it is, uh, and how well the air grass properties work as well. We'll also go over how well this vinyl does with cold stretching as well as hot stretching, uh, and in general, heated itself because it is a chrome vinyl in which chromes generally tend to be a little bit more sensitive to heat. At the end of the video I'll let you know where you can order some of this vinyl so you can use it for your project as well. So we'll take a look at the physical properties of the vinyl first and by physical properties I'm talking about just the look of it and the feel of it and some of the things that you'll notice once you have the vinyl. Here I have a piece that's already cut, it's a pretty small piece. You can see, hopefully you can see the patterning in the vinyl it's kind of got this carbon fiber weave looking pattern on it i think when this was originally launched it was labeled or billed as uh, carbon fiber kevlar uh, holographic chrome vinyl and now uh, looking at the websites it's just holographic weave vinyl so it does have this weave pattern on it uh, so this is the top side obviously this one does have a protective plastic cap in it um, which is, according to Vivid, uh, stretchable with the vinyl as well. So that means you can install this vinyl with the cap on it. In my experience, you yes, that is true. However, the cap doesn't stretch as much as the vinyl does, and it does limit some of the um, installation if you're trying to get around, and say, curves, for example, or heating and wrapping this around curves and corners. I prefer to take that cap off. Uh, the plastic cap does protect it during shipping as well. Uh, and then you'll see in the installation piece, it protects it from scratches as you're applying, if you like to keep the cap on. On the back side, this is on Vivid's uh, Premium Plus backing paper, um, which indicates that it is under newer Premium Plus line. Um, on the back side here of the actual vinyl itself, you will see that you'll see the chrome. It's metallic in color, and you can see that pattern that's been imprinted into... The front side that you see in the front side here, you'll see that on the back side pretty easily here. And you'll notice that rainbow color effect is the holographic effect as well. Uh, the adhesive itself, because you can see the, the chrome and the pattern, uh, it is a clear adhesive. Um, and it's pretty low tack. Uh, I'm touching with my fingers here. And it's pretty low tack compared to other vinyls which are stickier, such as um, like tech wrap, for example. Old tech wrap and eBay vinyls tend to be more sticky as that. So now that we've taken a look at some of the physical properties of the vinyl itself, let's take a look at some of its application properties. And for this demonstration, I'll be applying it to this ceramic tile, which uh, is a high energy substrate or surface, meaning that if it's a high energy substrate, the vinyl itself will tend to stick to it very well versus a low energy substrate, which are things like matte or textured uh, surfaces which vinyl does not stick to very well at all uh, also oily and greasy type surfaces automatically make it a low low surface energy substrate so as far as the um application uh, properties of this so if we're going to peel this we already talked about real briefly about its tack as far as how the adhesive how sticky the adhesive is you can see that i'm touching it and it's not sticking to my finger um very much at all when i apply it or when i'm getting to apply it uh, on a high energy surface you'll see that it if i try to slide over the the um, tile it doesn't move, grab it and move it but you'll notice that it peels right off so it's pretty low tack in this case on a high energy surface it's not very slidable now this surface here underneath is a um is kind of a lower surface energy you'll notice that here it is slidable you can hear it rubbing along on the surface, but it is slidable. So it just really depends on um, the slidability. really depends on what kind of surface you're applying it to. As far as applying it, you can apply, like I said, this vinyl directly onto whatever you're applying it to with the cap on it. And the cap will protect the vinyl as you apply it. Uh, those that know, even if you put a brand new buffer on, unless you wet applicate, wet apply vinyl, gloss vinyl in particular, you'll get to see, you'll start seeing these micro scratches, very fine, almost like swirl mark and paint 
type of scratches in the vinyl itself. Uh, so this plastic cap basically takes that, takes those scratches for you when you apply it, and then when you peel the back paper off, it's completely clean and scratch free. So now that I've peeled it off, I'll go ahead and take an opportunity to show you a little bit more closely how, um, really how glossy and shiny this uh, vinyl is. It uh, looks like wet paint. Uh, it's really, really nice looking as far as uh, the finish, the smoothness, and its reflectivity. You can see my ring light in there. It's almost like a mirror. That's how shiny this is. Um, and again, a lot of gloss vinyls, they are shiny. Uh, and it looks like um, when you take gloss vinyl off of its backing paper and then you heat it and it looks like wet paint, but then when you apply it onto the surface itself, it still looks shiny, it still looks good, but it doesn't look like have that, at least what I've seen, that wet paint look anymore. This, even though it's been applied, still has that, that really smooth wet paint look to it. Um, and so that's, again, the, the cap, applying it with a cap on it protects it and uh, keeps it from being scratched. Um, as far as uh, stretchability of it and repositionability, you can see that it's peeling right off, even though this is a high surface energy, high surface uh, energy uh, substrate that I applied this to, and I applied it with my buffer. Um, it does peel, peel back off pretty easily, but not very much um, force required to peel it back off. This is a chrome vinyl. Chrome vinyls generally tend to be more sensitive, so as you're peeling it off, just be careful you don't damage it. So what I'm going to try to do here is create air bubbles to demonstrate the air egress properties of this. Hopefully you can see that I've got a big air bubble here and another air bubble right there. And so let me seal those off a little better. The air egress properties in this vinyl are just as good that I've experienced as any other vinyl uh, within Vivid's line or any other as well. So the small air bubble here right there, I'll just press it with my thumb. You can see it's going away, and that's gone now. This bigger one here, press it down, press it down. You can see that it's moving the air around a little bit here. Pressing that vinyl, pressing it slowly so that the air will move around. And air egress is, um, it doesn't let the air out through the vinyl. Uh, that's a common misconception. It, Basically, all those air channels that are in the vinyl itself, or in the adhesive, I should say, the, the air is being dispersed out through the vinyl. And so if an air bubble is too tight, in some cases it can be, that air just moves somewhere else until it can escape, in this case, out to the side. But the air egress itself is pretty pretty on par with other vinyls to include within Vivid's line and other brand name vinyls. Made a couple more air bubbles there. Hopefully you can see those. And then press those out just like that. And it looks just fine. All right, so as far as stretchability, now that this is where it gets a little bit more dicey. Again, this is a chrome vinyl, right? And so chrome vinyls, if you've ever worked with them, they are much more sensitive to stretching and heat in particular. Uh, they get very more, very easily damaged because of the thin metal layer in here. Metal doesn't heal like um, plastic does, and so it will... Um, it will get damaged. So cold stretchability though, this actually does have pretty good cold stretchability. So I'll just take it off and I'll stretch it right over my, my fingers and you'll see the shape of my fingers coming through here. So you can see the cold stretchability there. Um, giving it a kiss of heat here. With this, I would recommend always using low heat. As far as healing properties, it does go back to its original shape. But, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well in the camera, where it was stretched with my fingers there, even though it's healed to its original shape, I can see distortion in the weave pattern where my fingers were. Um, as far as heat, you know, warm stretching it, let me get this onto this here, um, hot stretching this over. It's, again, very sensitive, and then now, It'll be a little bit more sensitive because it is warm and more susceptible to damage. So you heat it, and it will it will become more pliable, more floppy, more soft, and it will stretch more than than cold. You see that it's stretching even more already. 
and I'm pulling pretty hard and you can see it's pretty resilient and taking that stretch bringing it around the corner here okay, but I also noticed that in the patterning on the sides it has gotten distorted you can see a little distortion in the pattern there on the back side you'll see the part that isn't stretched the pattern in the chrome looks clean and even on this side you can see all the distortion in, in there and actually you'll see kind of like a clouding or hazing in here a lot of chrome vinyls they tend to white out uh, or haze out if they get overstretched as far as returning back to its original shape original shape it does it does that just as well but again in this case the chrome is probably damaged a little bit here in that this area now you can probably see it a little bit better here hopefully in this area you can see kind of that blotch right here that's the chrome that's been damaged and I've laid it down it's smooth again it looks good uh, from that perspective that being you know, smooth and color and etc but it is now hazy and a lot of chrome and chromes in general if you overstretch overheat and overstretch that's what will happen it, it'll just become this kind of hazy kind of uh, look to it the other thing with this vinyl is that when you give it heat it does tend to curl you kind of saw it doing it right there so if I heat here, again this is low heat, you'll see it kind of just curling up. See how that side, this whole edge here, this whole side just curled up. And what I've noticed that when it curls and if it's the adhesive grabs the front side of it, it sticks pr pretty good. Now also consider that Vivids has um, a heat activated adhesive, meaning that when you add heat to their adhesive, not only does the vinyl, um, to the vinyl, not only does it uh, allow the vinyl to become softer or shrink or whatever you know whatever properties you need the heat for it to do it will actually um, the adhesive becomes stronger so you can see here because this was hot it grabbed itself uh, onto itself a lot a lot harder so when you're working with this vinyl um, be careful when you're stretching uh, you can cold stretch it and, and if you can that's what i'd recommend if you heat it be careful with the limits that you stretch it you don't you can't stretch it too much before you start getting uh, distortion or damage in the vinyl itself. So that's just a quick overview of the application properties of the vinyl. So now that I've shown you a little bit about the properties of the vinyl itself, as well as some of the things to look out for when you are applying this vinyl, let's take a look at something that I've already wrapped with this vinyl. So you can take a look at the fit and finish of it. So you can see here I wrapped uh, one of my laptops and it's it's a really cool look on this laptop I really like it not only is it super shiny it's got that really cool unique pattern to it as well so pretty unique you can see that how super glossy and shiny it is it's almost like a mirror you can see my reflection in there holding this up but you can see my ring lights that I'm using as my light sources here as well again the gloss is very nice super easy um, you can see the my Dell emblem in the middle it's only sort of embossed, but I, you know, I didn't really want to spend the time to emboss it too much. But you could if you really wanted to. Again, the air egress property is there so that you could do that. Um, but anyway, so this looks really nice on it. Uh, edges look good. Corners look nice. Um, and so it was pretty easy to install. Again, just had to be careful with applying it over these corners and over these edges so as not to uh, damage the vinyl too much. Uh, as well. If you want to know how I or want to see the tutorial I made on wrapping this laptop, uh, I'll have links in the description for that as well. Uh, I'll be posting that here shortly after this video. Um, and so you can use this vinyl for something like your laptop, maybe your PlayStation or Xbox, um, or even your car. Haven't done this on a car yet. Um, just don't have a big enough piece of it to do a car. I just wanted to try some samples. Uh, but if I do, I'll certainly post that as well. All right, guys. So hopefully this video has given you some good insight on this really unique and pretty cool looking vinyl. Uh, hopefully it has been helpful in uh, if you're about to use this vinyl, what you can expect to get with it or how it might react when you uh, work with it. Uh, or maybe it's giving you insight or maybe it's something you want to try out. Uh, drop some comments down below. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on what you think of this vinyl uh, if you've used it in particular before. So guys, 
Hopefully this video has been helpful for you, instructive, uh, informative, maybe even entertaining to some degree. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you get notices whenever I post new content to the channel. I got more videos on the way for you and I'd love to share those with you. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Have a great day.